Okay, good morning. It's uh, the 19th of January. We're just at quarter past seven today. Uh, FTSE opens in around about 45 minutes. Um, <clears throat> so what we can see is we've had a very strong downward surge. Um, now we've came down into the lows. This was the low of the during the independence referendum. It fell all the way down here and then we bounced higher, came down with a higher low and bounced higher once again. Um, so we've came down into there. Yesterday's trading was this day, uh, this candlestick right here, sorry. So we've already came down, we've tested these lows and we have pushed higher. Um, now yesterday's trading pushed higher and then failed. And what's important to remember is this is not a pin bar. I know lots of people will see this and think it's a pin bar, it's not. Um, if anything, it's a continuation spike and now it looks like it's setting up into a, a type of morning star setup. Um, for that to be a pin bar, the tail would need to be down the way and it would need to be a bullish signal. Pin bars come at the end of um, market runs. We've had a bearish run, so it would need to be a bullish signal. Um, <clears throat> so I am expecting some upside, although we've already had a lot of upside this morning. So I'm going to watch price action when it opens. Um, if we can push up into the 5, 9, 10 levels and then begin to push above this, I am expecting the market to at least get back up into the 6,000 levels. Maybe not today, but that's where I would expect it to return to. Um, we've got a couple of news releases today. We've got 9.30, the consumer price index, um, and then Later on, I believe around about 10 o'clock, we've got some European news. Um, and at 12 o'clock, the governor of the Bank of England is speaking. Now, with the FTSE 100, it's very rare that news releases have a strong effect on the market. However, it does happen. So it is important to be careful trading around about these events. Um, I always either tighten my stop or I'll manually open a uh, my trading window so I can close the position very quickly if it moves against me. Um, it's not worth taking the risk because you know the one time out of 30 where the market suddenly does spike you can lose a fair amount of money. Okay so on the five minute time frame let's have a quick look. So we can see we're already pushing higher um, making a strong run up we're coming up towards these 5,900, 5,910 levels where I am expecting the market to at least stall. Um, however, we are having very strong price action overnight. Um, the market touched down here in yesterday's trading. Yesterday, it was an American holiday. It was uh, Martin Luther King Day. So um, the second half of the day was fairly light. There was nothing much happened. I wasn't expecting the market to make any significant moves yesterday because it was an American holiday. So we got the spike up uh, and the price action came back down in the second half of the day. Um, I'm not expecting the market to get back down here today but this is a very nice buy area um, as is down here. Uh, two key daily levels and S1. So where are we now? <clears throat> so we've broken out of yesterday's high of um, the highest point that traded yesterday um, during yesterday's price action we're above the pivot um, if the market can pull back into here give me a signal I would be very interested in getting long round about here um, if the market can break through the 5, 9, 10 level we'll see what happens when it gets up here if I get reversal signals unless it's a very strong surge up then I'll wait but if it's not a very strong surge up I would look to take reversals if it breaks through here, I'm expecting the market to return up to these levels up here at some point in the near future as a bare minimum. And um, so today, a little bit different for me trading today. It's actually my birthday today. I uh, turned 30. So I'm not going to be trading all day. I'm going to watch the morning price action. First couple of hours. If I get any strong signals, I will trade. If I don't, I will just finish up for the day um, and come back to it tomorrow. However, I will update the video at 4.30, even if I don't get any trades. Um, I'll review the market, I'll go over what happens. 
I'll take you through any potential setups that could have been traded, um, especially the ones that would have triggered from the training course. Okay, so I'll come back at 4.30 and see what happened. Okay, so we're just about at 4.30 now. The FTSE is just about to close. Um, so let's go over what happened today. So we can see the market pushed up pre-market and it broke out of yesterday's price action. So it, it was trading higher than the highest price from yesterday. It pushed into the daily support and resistance levels right here, 5.870 to 5.875 pre-market. The market then ranged sideways. Um, at eight o'clock, the market broke out. It pushed higher. It came up into the next levels, which were identified as 5.902 to 5.910. So this is R1 and a key daily level. And the market failed. It failed with a, an excellent sell signal right there and the market plummeted back down. It fell away. It came back down into the other pre-identified zone. You can see it's traded be between these zones um, for the entire day. It's a lovely buy signal right here. And for everyone who's taken the training course after this, this was a very strong sell-off. After this sell-off, even if you'd been waiting for evidence before you were willing to risk your capital, um, the market showed you that it was running out of bearish energy, bearish sentiment, and then you got a buy signal right here, which you could have rolled all the way back up into the 5900 levels once again. Now the market pushes up into this level, um, it failed once, it pushes up again, um, as soon as the um, price breaks out of the zone, it instantly fails and the market tumbles all the way back down. Now, when the market's up here like this, it's doing a couple of things. So this is not the market um, breaking out of this zone. I've said if the market could trade above here, I would be expecting a return to the 6,000 levels in the next um, sort of few trading days. Uh, this is not breaking out of the zone. This is a false break. Uh, one of the things it's doing is it's pushing higher, it's taking out stops. Anyone who got short at the 6900 levels, their stops are going to be up here somewhere. This is stop hunting. Um, it's also testing the level, instantly fails, and the market falls all the way back down again. It's a sell signal here that you could have taken. Uh, it's a very nice sell signal. The market then shows weakness and then it plummets. So, there's a few very nice setups today, um, all which could have been identified from the training course. Hopefully you caught the majority of those. Um, for me, because it's my birthday, I only took one trade today. Uh, let's just bring up the results, one second. So, gain today, £446 exactly. Um, I was done relatively early. I could have kept on trading, however, as I mentioned earlier, it's my birthday, so I wanted to finish early. I've just jumped back on the computer now to finish the review video. And then I'm away to meet some family members for something to eat and no doubt a drink because I am Scottish. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful, guys. And um, I'll leave the address for the training site on the video as always. Um, I get emails every couple of days by people asking for details on the training site. All the details are available at the training website. It gives you uh, an outline of the course, it goes over exactly what you're going to learn in the course. So you can just jump over there. Um, all I will do is guide you over there if I receive an email anyway. Okay, so, yep, yeah, so yeah, that is everything absolutely finished. Um, I hope you've had a great trading week. I'm James Orr, and thank you.